Right, when you're making a coffee, don't make the milk first. Don't froth the milk first because then the milk will sit while you're waiting to make the espresso. So you, first of all, you make the espresso. Okay, so this is how you make an espresso. I'm going to show you here, you just pull out the spray, you choose the espresso of your liking, you turn it upside down, and you push it in. You have three buttons here on the top of the, of the coffee machine. You have a short espresso, which you use for cappuccinos. You have a double espresso, which you can also use for lattes. And then you have the lungo, which is the long espresso, which you use for Americanos. You simply put a cup of coffee, make sure that it's clean, and you put it under the express point and you choose an espresso and the machine will then operate itself from that moment on make sure that you've got enough milk in the jug but not too much it shouldn't be higher than the actual base of the nozzle that's how much milk you would put in for two cappuccinos okay you would first bleed the steamer you will then place the steam one under the milk not above the milk and you give it a full turn so there's full pressure you make sure that there's intermittent sounds like you're hearing now and the milk should turn around so don't hold the steam one in the middle of the jug or against the side halfway in between you'll notice the espresso is now finished put your hand on the jug to feel the temperature when it's starting to get warm just before you can barely hold it anymore you stop it so that didn't take too long and you just spin the milk around and you'll see that the milk is actually quite shiny in color you take your cup you tilt the cup towards you and you tilt the jug towards each other and you just turn it around a little bit like this and then you stop and you close it